Amazing things happening in the lower divisions, such as a potential seven promotions to Judeo. This video was recorded before the announcements. The return of Takeru Fuji and his Yusho. The return of Enho and Kawazoe from their injuries. But did any of their matches make it into the top 10 list? Coming at you now is my top 10 matches of the Aki Basho from the lower divisions. Chiyoshoma gives Shishi a cheeky trip from behind to begin our top 10. Tamashoho nearly gets punished for going early at the Tachi Eye, but he twists for the win at number 9. Want to go to the maid cafes, not just me. Tamashoho a little jumpy, I'm surprised they called the Hakeoi there. Shimazu Umi gets turned and thrown. Wow, a surprising escape for Tamashoho. I thought Tamashoho went early, and then Shimazu Umi was simply going to drive him out, but that... Twist at the edge. Muscle Man Miyagi makes a manic move, miraculously making this match. Yoshi takes the charge, Miyagi getting low, trying to get the pull on the arm but lost the grip on it. Miyagi trying again, Yoshi stumbles, catches himself, Miyagi trying to go for the belt. Now is Yoshi pulling back on the arm but he can't get the throw as Miyagi pulls back and twists him down. Smooth move right there for Miyagi. Here's something you don't see every day. The Gyoji takes a spill in this match at number 7. Uma versus uh, Kita Daichi. <coughs> Kita Daichi, a big charge forward. Yuma can't handle it at the edge now. Can he survive is the question. Yuma... Ooh, spinning back around the ring, goes through the Gyoji! Gyoji is out of the ring, but the match is still going! <laughs> I think he called the right winner, but we didn't even get to see the end of the match! At number 6, Asakoryu escapes from being picked up and manages to come back for the win. Asakoryu versus Dai Saison. Asakoryu tries to get to the side, gets the double inside belt grip on Dai Seizan. Dai Seizan models Ashi around those elbows, on those biceps, arm breaker hold, trying to squat low so he can move forward, but Asakoryu not letting him really do it, but picking him up by the arms! Asakoryu puts himself back down, tries to throw back to the middle of the ring, he's charging, he's pushing, and he gets the win! Oh, it was close! <laughs> Oh, Asakoryu almost picked up and out of the ring, but he wiggles away and charges. Hidenoumi rallies back from a poor position to secure his sixth win on the final day to start the top five. Hidenoumi chest to chest, Dai Seizan with a better push. Hidenoumi losing ground at the edge, hops off to the side, shuffles around the edge of the ring. Dai Seizan couldn't keep up, now re-grabs him back in the middle. Hideno Umi, outside left to inside right. Hideno Umi getting thrown, hops forward and saves himself at the edge. Dai Seizan couldn't finish him off. What a move from Hideno Umi. He's fighting for nothing but pride and he's putting it all on the line. Pushing forward again, Hideno Umi taking a smack to the face, holding each other by the throat, back to the chest to chest. Hideno Umi trying to wiggle away. Dai Seizan, chest to chest, they both look gassed. Big throw for Hideno Umi! Hell of a match right there! Going hard when you really didn't need to! The literal first match of the Aki Basho was a banger between Furuta and Go Seizan, the eventual Yusho winner. Furuta lower on the charge, Go Seizan nearly kicked off to the side, but he manages to keep his footing. Go Seizan, big left over the back, but Furuta keeps trying to throw the hip inside for a hip toss with the leg. Inside right, 
dug in deep, Furuta low, trying to prevent Gol Cezanne from getting that right hand inside on the belt. Furuta diving forward, nearly thrown off to the side, and this is already a good match to start the tournament. Furuta charging forward, Gol Cezanne trying to push through. Furuta nearly had him tripped there, but good footwork from Gol Cezanne. Gol Cezanne nearly pulled down, now he's going for a push, they're both at the edge. Back to the middle of the ring. And what a way to start the entire Basho. Furuta trying that leg again. He's going to keep going for it. Pushing forward, trying to hook the leg, doesn't get it. Gol Cezanne throws him down. Beautiful match. Toki Hayate survives inches from death to steal the win from Dayamami. Today is a festival day in Japan. I didn't know that. Toki Hayate takes the charge. Dayamami trying to move forward, and he does. Grabs, lifts Toki Hayate, has him at the edge, but Toki Hayate escapes. Around the edge of the ring again, gets behind Dayamami. Can he finish it off? And yes, he can. Toki Hayate inches away from death right there. The fan loves it. Waka Ikari fights with everything he's got to ensure he will earn a salary in November at number two. Waka Ikari, can you earn your salary by knocking down Osho Umi? With his injured back and legs and knees and a false start. Notice that the UL Monroe QB is named General Booty. Yeah, I noticed that too. I only watched the first quarter of that, of that game, though. Waka Ikari. Charges straight into the chest. Osho Umi stands up to catch him. Inside left on the belt. Outside right for Waka Ikari. Waka Ikari losing ground. Trying to push, trying to find a way in. But Osho Umi, stalemating him, gets turned to the side. Spins, lost his footing. Waka Ikari. Back to the middle of the ring, trying to get better leverage. Osho Umi has a bigger body. It's harder to push him. Waka Ikari trying to get a little lower, kicking the leg into a pull. The pull doesn't work into the push. The push doesn't work either. Osho Umi stalemates him. Another throw into a push. That doesn't work either. Osho Umi, the leg kick up and out. Waka Ikari throwing the kitchen sink for the win. And on the first day of the tournament, Dai Shoho gives us intense stare downs and a fierce win at number one. Could you? Slow start for Dai Shoho, standing up and slapping Tohakuryu away. Tohakuryu bounces back to the edge of the ring, has to dance around the side, trying to get better position on Dai Shoho. Dai Shoho, content to stand there and take some slaps to the chest, staring each other down. Charge for Tohakuryu, turned to the side by Dai Shoho, and to Tohakuryu doesn't know how to attack. Now it's Dai Shoho's turn. He got in, but he didn't finish him off, and now he slows it back down in the middle of the ring. Trying to be smart about this approach here. I think Dai Shoho had a missed opportunity there, missed the follow-up. Intense stare down in the middle of the ring. Who's gonna be the one to make the next move? They mutually meet each other, slapping each other's chest. Dai Shoho losing ground. Tries to turn back for a slap down, and that doesn't work. Tohakuryu retreats back to a stare down. Dai Shoho content to stand in the middle of the ring, knowing that Tohakuryu cannot push him. He's too big, too heavy. Dai Shoho moving forward slowly, a measured assault to finish it off. Smart sumo from Dai Shoho there, not rushing into any attack. And like I did mention earlier in the match, I thought there was a missed opportunity where he could have followed up for a potential win, but it would have been a risky move to take. 
The incredible matches we've seen so far this year in the lower divisions will continue to build up as fan favorites make their way closer to the top division and as new recruits continue to make their presence known. Look out next week for my Guess the Banzuke video where I will attempt to lay out what the top division will look like for the November tournament. And be sure to subscribe to keep on catching more sumo action. Thank you very much for watching and have a wonderful day.